What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Sal, and I'm going to be showing you off a new game I got today, Project Zomboid. I know there's a lot of guides out there for this already, and I do recommend that you check those out as well. Uh, a lot of them that I watched were basically, hey, I'm just now discovering this game, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Um, well, the way I approach this, and the way uh, I'm going to bring you through this, is I went to the wiki and tried to figure out stuff to do. So we're going to play a survival game. We're going to do a new one because these are old games. Sometimes they don't even work. Uh, and I haven't tried West Point, so I guess we'll try West Point. I know Moldraw really well, though. You know what? We're going to do a Moldraw this time around. We can do West Point later if you guys, if, if, if there's enough demand. Um, two separate maps of various points in Kentucky. Dennis Morris, that is not going to be our name, but we're going to randomize for a little bit. Um, until we find something that's... I mean, this is so tiny I can't even tell what the deal is. But we're going to go with this guy. His name is going to be... Um, Mr. Poo Pants Dung Smear. And, uh, by the way, special points to anybody who gets the reference, because that's totally a reference. Um, fine with all this. Definitely need a beard. I don't even know if that showed up. So, Project Zomboid is a simulator uh, of a zombie-infested town. And while we're getting ready to do this, I do want to say you're going to die a couple times when you first start out. I died a couple times. Don't get discouraged, you know, oh man, I just made my shelter and then I got attacked by zombies or I dehydrated or whatever. Uh, the whole point is to try to push your limits until you understand the game, understand the simulator. Um, thick skin. So we're going to go through these occupations. Unemployed is useless. Don't choose that one. Uh, but as you're going through this, you want to find an occupation that gives you some kind of bonus that you feel like you're going to use a lot during the game. Depending on what your play style is, maybe you want to be combat heavy, maybe you want to be really uh, uh, sneaky and avoid zombies whenever possible. It's, it's up to you how you want to play the game. I like to play very combat heavy. Uh, and actually, it's extremely important for your first couple playthroughs to learn things like combat. So don't shy away from it. Just get right into it. Um, so double speed breaking through doors with the axe and a faster swing. That can be useful for combat, but what's actually, in my opinion, more useful is the construction worker. Thick skinned. Uh, and we'll go over exactly why that is later on. But the main reason is that uh, you get scratches and bites whenever zombies are like getting right up next to you. And if they break the skin, you've got a high chance of getting infected. Don't get infected. Thick skin, pretty cool. Handy, faster barricading. Gotta love that too. Uh, let's see. Park ranger in case you want to camp outside or, uh, or walk outside in the rain actually. That could be pretty useful. Police officer if you want to shoot your gun. Guns are loud, so you got to deal with a lot of zombies. You really need to have just a whole ton of ammo on hand if you're going to use a gun. I haven't done that yet, actually. And Night Owl. I, I tried this once, and Night Owl wasn't useful. Although it could have just been because I was always indoors, um, and zombies didn't get to me. But I'm going to go ahead and go with the Construction Worker. It gives you thick skinned as a trait. That is always nice. And let me take a look through all this stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff on here. Right now, people take Light Drinker because it hardly ever hurts, but it gives you extra points to spend on some kind of other uh, positive thing. Like, Light Drinker, it, unless you seriously want to go out and find all the whiskey in the world and just get your character shit-based, uh, which, by the way, is an actual status in the game, eh, it's not something to worry about. Um, let's see. People really like Athletic if you want to be running a lot. I don't tend to run a heck of a lot. Graceful, I find, is pretty useful because it lets you sneak up on zombies right easily. Uh, stout, let's see, stout and strong are kind of both the same thing, except they're just different levels of the same thing. Strong can be pretty useful, but um, there's you get into stuff that's really bad after a while here. So light, light drinker, short tempered, hmm, quick to anger. I think we'll go with that one. So that gives us six points to play with, and we want to choose. So strong, extra knockback, increased carrying weight is pretty useful when you're on the move. Light Eater is useful, Resilient, less prone to disease, flow rate of notification. No, 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 no. What do we want? What do we want, ladies and gents? I don't know. I haven't tried Athletic, but I think I'd rather try Strong. So we're going to do that. We're going to be a very strong construction worker, Mr. Poopants Dung Smear. So we're going to get started. The first thing you got to understand about this is that it really does try to simulate a lot of things. Not 100% accurately, but it gets into the realism pretty heavily. So aside from the fact that your character doesn't, you know, excrete waste, which, by the way, you have to eat and drink like every day. You think you have to use the bathroom too, but you don't. Um, a lot of other stuff they try to get pretty accurate. So you're going to have to eat, you're going to have to drink multiple times a day. Um, zombies, obviously, 100% realistic. That totally happens in real life all the time. They invade Kentucky on a yearly basis. Um, no, but, I mean, they, they 
give variable parameters for the zombies. So some of them will move faster, some slower. Uh, and right now, we've started the game. There are already zombies around. You can't necessarily see them yet. Get out of the way. All right, there. Can't see them yet. But one of the first things you really want to do whenever you're looting houses or whatever, uh, kind of look around through the windows, which is what I'm doing here. You can see the vision, vision radius. Um, one of the first things you really want to do in looting houses and trying to find a shelter and all that, uh, especially when trying to find a shelter, is close all the curtains and create yourself some curtains. So let's take a look as, as I've pulled up my uh, inventory window. We're going to take a look through all this stuff. The first thing we really need to find is some kind of a bag. And, and right now we've got a garbage bag. That'll be good. We've also got a frying pan, which can be a weapon. So we're going to go ahead and take that. It's not a great weapon, but it gets you through some tight spots early in the game. Uh, so now we've got a garbage bag that is equipped as secondary, pri frying pan equipped primary. So garbage bag is going to be used to carry a bunch of stuff like uh, cereal, oh hell yeah. Uh, Non-perishable food, especially. Perishable food's good early game to give you little uh, boosts and bonuses, but uh, you can really only carry like one thing at a time, and a lot of it's uncooked. I really don't want to deal with uncooked stuff, because that'll just make me sick. Ooh, ice cream. Yeah, we'll take some of that along with us in our big garbage bag of fun. The rest of this stuff doesn't really matter. The, God, that spray can is so useful when you're gardening. Um, but you can find those in warehouses, so we're going to skip it. Nails, concrete, whatever. I mean, all those are interesting. Peanut butter, hell yeah. This is What I'm really going for right now is not you know late game, like, oh, this will help me later on type of stuff. I am going to hold control here to open this door just in case there is a zombie in my bathroom. There's not. But you always want to be careful because you never want a zombie to pop out of one of those doors and scare you. Um, sheets are how you create curtains, so we're going to grab one of those. What I'm doing is trying to prepare myself to survive a night in the early game. Newspapers, whatever. Um, so what you really need to survive a night, in the early game, the water's still on, the electricity's still on, you need food, you need sheets, you need shelter that the zombies aren't going to break through. So, and I, I really also want to kind of give myself well positioned for the mid game. Okay, zombies up that way. You see how I move my mouse around? I can see where the zombies are at. Uh, I kind of know where I am already. Um, just based on where I have played this game previously. Uh, you love how I'm, I am the classic Kentuckian redneck, so I've got uh, no shirt on. But why would you need a shirt? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start heading up towards the highway, which is uh, you know scary. There's more zombies up that way, and I'm really going to need... Uh, a better weapon before I get too far down that path. But the other thing that we're yeah, like uh, the other thing that we're gonna do is maybe find a, a decent house to in enter and invade and make our own. There are no NPCs right now; it's just zombies. So you're gonna hear occasionally stuff like um, I should probably move faster. You're gonna hear stuff like helicopters, gunshots. Uh, that is the meta game. This is what it's been called in the forums. Basically, it's just a game screwing with you, trying to make zombies move around. So let's see. We can probably, oh, we can't get past all these guys. So you'll notice that I... Uh oh that's not... Oh, shit. <laughs> this is not good. So you notice, uh, one thing I'm doing here in combat is I'm trying to keep myself in swing range. Oh, there's too many of them now. I am leaving. And you'll notice that there is a, uh, a little mood up here. Panicked. Panic is no good. It reduces your accuracy. But every time you attack a zombie, whether it's through... Uh, yeah, we're in trouble. Uh, every time you go after a zombie, whether it be... Um, sneaking up on them to kill them or whatever, you're, you're always going to get some kind of panic mood. So, this is probably going to result in death for me, although there are ways to evade zombies if you can get around a corner uh, so that they can't see you for long enough, then you should end up being okay. So we're just going to try and juke these zombies. And I think I may have been successful here. Zombie right there, too, in the grass. And you can kind of tell because he's disappearing. If it were a dead body, it wouldn't disappear. It would just stay there. So, we've gotten rid of some zombies for now. Um, it is 12.40, and it, when it starts getting dark, the zombies get worse. Press E to get over these, by the way, if you're trying to walk over a fence or whatever. Uh, that's, that's actually a really useful tip that is not shown in these little guys over here. That these were real. So, I think what we're going to do is actually we're going to have to... Yeah, hi, Wes. Um, 
we're probably just going to have to get back into one of these houses. Stay there for a little while until we can get a better weapon. Because i got to tell you, this frying pan is not doing it for me. Uh, let's see. So this is a house. I think it's my house. Which means I'm going to have to be careful about opening the door. You hear that? That is that means the door is locked. Now, as long as there aren't zombies within sight range, and that's about where my... If you can see my mouse. Maybe you can't see my mouse. Mm, it's about where I'm looking right now. Um, as long as there aren't zombies in sight range, you can sit here and do this for a little while. And actually, sometimes it takes quite a long time to open a door like that, but this time it didn't. And we are going to find a way to right-click the window. There we go. You have to sometimes click weird spots, but we'll climb through. Now, we're going to check the whole house for zombies first. Then here... Good. Bathroom's clear. Check in here. And we got a zombie. We actually have two of them. Oh. Oh, we got a crawler. Crawlers are no good. Oh, she's gonna get on me. Uh, what, people hate crawlers, especially early game. Okay, she's dead because all that blood spilled out. Uh, crawlers are difficult to deal with because they can bite you from the floor and you can't push them away. But you can get around them like this and there we go. We destroyed a crawler. Now, um, we're going to go back to the old house in a minute. But for... Oh shit. That's a lot of zombies out there. I don't like it. And one of them is going to look in this window and see me. That's okay for now. But I don't like it. Right, another sheet. Great. That's what we need. We need ways to keep them from seeing inside. Suspicious on another sheet. Sleeping tablets I really don't care about. Go ahead and close that door. We will take a drink, because you can tell I'm I'm kinda thirsty right now, so we'll go ahead and right click any water source. I could have drunk from the toilet, but you know, I'm not that gross. Grab another sheet. I don't know why they kept their sheet in the bathroom. Who knows what that is covered with, in fact. That's probably pretty gross. I might put that one back, but for now, uh, we'll just we'll just assume that it's a perfectly clean and wonderful sheet. You know, a plastic bag sounds stupid, but uh, as long as I don't have like a hiking bag or something, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep the peanut butter. Canned soup's not a bad idea, but I'm gonna leave it here. Because weight is really, really important in this game. You don't want to be overburdened by an abundance of weight. So let's walk out again. Zombie here is going there. I don't like my chance right now. I need to get rid of my window here so I can see where the zombies are. Still panicked, and getting back to my house is not going to be the easiest thing in the world. It is 310 right now. And I'm not in pain, which means none of the zombie bites have actually broken serious skin or anything. That guy is not paying any attention, so I'm happy. That's kind of weird. He was staring straight at me. Um, that was the house I just walked out of, so, or, well, my house, I should say. So we're going to go back in there, we're going to set ourselves up for a night. Um, hopefully we don't die overnight. These are not my favorite houses to stay in. But as long as you cover the windows with sheets, the zombies should not feel, I mean, they shouldn't see you to come and attack. The issue you're going to have is that sometimes a metagame will just force them to, uh, to break down windows anyway, just for fun. Alright, so we don't have... Sheets. we got to pull sheets out of our bag into our inventory. So we're going to go select the garbage bag, throw the sheets into our inventory, and once we've done that, then we can start adding sheets to windows. Uh, first place we're going to do is a bedroom so they can't see into the bedroom and attack me while I sleep. Any leftover sheets are then going to be added to the front of the house, but I want to see what happens. Uh, now you can see I'm hungry as well. Okay, add sheet. Add sheet. Oh, that's going to take two sheets. That's really no good. Close the curtains. There we go, and I don't think there are any other windows in here, so that has a set for the night. Let's check what's in this. No sheets, huh? You cheap bastard. This is the house where I started with, so clearly this guy's an asshole, and we all hate him. Let's see what's in his bathroom. Is it another dirty, disgusting sheet? No! Just a toothbrush and toothpaste, which we are definitely not going to use. We're also going to just kind of close that door. You may never even have to, uh... How do you not have curtains in your house at all, you dick? Alright, uh, yeah. So this is a bad house. That's okay. Close curtains. Let's see. I don't see any zombies out that way, so the immediate threat, I think, might be from this direction. Um, oh, that's a giant window. With no curtains. Can you, can you tell how much I hate the character I've started as right now? 
Construction workers everywhere. I just want you to stop watching this video because we are going to start getting very mad at construction workers the world over. Um, so we're hungry. We're going to go ahead and grab something out of this garbage bag and just eat it. Maybe the ice cream. It'll be delicious. Oh, I'm so happy and slightly fed on ice cream. Now the world is right. It's 5 o'clock. I can sleep. And that's essentially your first night. Um, we're going to go over in the next video or the next couple minutes maybe after we've slept. I'm not sure yet. We're going to go over breaking into another house. We've already done that. But yeah, essentially what you're going to want to do is break into other houses until you, you know, and get to warehouses, which are essentially up north and east, um, which is where all the, the nice warehouses and fun stuff are. It's also where all the zombies are, so you kind of need a good weapon before you get there. Um, best weapons in the game so far are axes and baseballs. They're quiet. They have high damage. Crowbars actually are pretty good too. They're a little bit shorter range. But that's kind of what you want to be after until you can find a place to really set up and, and start building yourself some construction stuff. We can go over construction, actually. The easiest way for me to do that would be to load a different save. So I might do that, make another video showing kind of the construction and farming stuff in detail. But that's kind of how you start a game. Oh, real quick, let's just see if we got attacked. Nope. As long as it says overall body status okay, it means nothing's broken the skin, nothing's punched or bruised you. So all that fighting we did earlier, nothing hurt us. Could be because of the tough skin. Could be because we were pushing stuff away because we were strong. Um, I tell you what, we're just going to kill this character anyway. So we did what we had to do. It's been nice knowing you poop pants, Dunk's Mirror. We're going to uh, we're gonna go find a zombie to fight. What you'll notice is that he follows the mouse with his frying pan of plus four attacking. I think that's what it's called. He follows the mouse, and so wherever you're going... You want to charge up an attack like this, especially when you see those zombies. So, eh, let's find one. Hello, zombies. How could there be no zombies here? This is ridiculous. I'm, I'm trying to prove a point, you dicks. Look. No, this is... No. Did they, did they leave? Well, I guess Kentucky sucks. <laughs> let's go invade Houston. That'll be a great place. It says it's open. The sign says it's open. All right, look. Here we go. We found a friend. Okay, so I'm charging up an attack. This is really the only way to deal damage. If you don't charge up your attacks, you're kind of just throwing little jab flurries. You notice he fell down, but he wasn't dead yet. You've got to double tap him like that. That's what I was doing there. As long as you were standing and facing the zombie that's fallen over, you can keep slamming him with whatever weapon you have until you hear the, uh, the the satisfying crunch and blood splatters all over the place. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and get myself into a fight with a whole bunch of zombies and show you what happens kind of when you die. So, hey! Hey guys! Hello! Hi! Alright, so this is a terrible position to be in. Because the more of them that get on you, see now I'm in pain, I'm in severe pain. The more of them that get on you, the more of them have a chance to bite you, the more of them have a chance... To, uh, to kill you. You can be, keep pushing them away, you can do all kinds of wonderful stuff, but eventually you're probably going to die. You'll notice I'm really strong, they're getting knocked back really, really far, which is insane. I kind of like that. Because when I've played other characters, uh, the knockback, it's not that far at all. Um, and so if you don't choose that strong trait, you're not going to get a lot of melee skill, and, and when you're trying to push him back more than two at a time like this, uh, you are just not going to get anywhere. They're going to inv basically invade your body and do all kinds of terrible things to it. So, Jeez, that's far. This guy is like Hercules. Okay, so you get the idea. That's combat. We're going to go do some uh, construction. But I'll see you in the next video.